hour of cardio, done. Um, it is a little much. Yeah. It does seem a little bit extreme, but to be completely honest, people that have to do like 20 minutes of cardio every single day for a whole week can even do it in one day. It just depends. It's, to me, it's personal preference. It's something that I always say when it comes to fitness and the way you approach things is do what works for you. Um, I've done this in the past where I've gone away to trips and like I've eaten like a douche bag. This time I did it a little bit more than I have in the past. I think it's the first time that I've indulged that much. Budapest was pretty bad too, but uh, yeah, after three or four days of overindulging, I came back around seven pounds heavier. So the goal is to be down seven pounds, if not more, um, by the end of next week. I'm not even so much the weight, but just like to get my physique back to where it was before I left to Columbus. Um, so I will be balancing out the surplus of calories that I took in over the past four days just by being in a deficit for the next four to five days. My macro goal for the day is um, 125 protein, 50 to 80 carb, mostly coming from vegetables, and then I'm gonna say like 30 fat around there. I'm not too sure what the calories would be for that. I have to do the math. I'll put them down below. I'll do the math while I'm editing. But um, yeah, so that's basically my goal for the day. I got my cardio done. I won't be doing any strength training. Um, I'm only strength training four times a week right now. So I'm gonna keep that just like it is. And hopefully my body rebounds exactly how I'm expecting it to. I'm excited to share this with you guys and kind of like show you what happens when you eat like a douchebag, but you know how to recover from it. So I'm gonna share all my tips with you guys and we're gonna get shit done. I'm gonna get right back to it. I'm sure you all know that the biggest way to succeed is being ready and having everything prepped. So I'm headed to Costco right now. I'm gonna grab some chicken, just my staples um, for the next week i'll be cooking some chicken today probably stick to oatmeal and kamu puffs for my carb source and then my fat source will probably be the p28 white chocolate peanut butter that i brought back from the arnold which is completely amazing like i'm obsessed i don't know how i put the jar down last night seriously it's so good but, um, yeah that's basically what's going on right now we're gonna head to costco possibly planet organic just to grab some other staples like kale chips and just little things that i like that are too expensive but <laughs> they're worth the money because they're so damn good just so you guys know my baby is here hey. i've never said that earlier today but we are going on adventures right now man yes some sort of adventure everything in life is an adventure <laughs> so first stop obviously was starbucks i got my venti black americano with three shots of sugar-free mocha if you guys haven't tried it yet please do seriously it's just like hot chocolate it's amazing i put three splendas in there and oh, holy shit like i'm obsessed obsessed and i just want to show you guys really quickly my little trick on how to get your money back from the starbucks expenses <laughs> just steal their splenda <laughs> if you really think about it splenda is super expensive so if you just take a whole bunch over time you'll get your money back <laughs> It's probably like one of the most Colombian things I've ever said in my life. We have Planet Organic and it's basically like the Whole Foods of Canada for now. We are getting a Whole Foods here in Calgary, I think this summer. So I'm super excited to see what it's going to be like. Hopefully they bring some Arctic Zero because as of right now you can't find Arctic Zero in Canada. We have Cool Way which is basically the same thing but it just doesn't taste as good to me. So hoping they bring some Arctic Zero. I'm not too sure what I'm here for, but I just hope that I don't eat with too much stuff. I just want kale chips. That's like my base, like that's like my main thing that I'm here for, is the kale chips. So this cool little find that I got here at uh, Planet Organic is a brownie and the macros are 110 calories, 
for half. Um, six grams of fat, 12 carb, and one protein, and it's pretty huge if you look at it. So I'm super excited to try this. To me, it's, it says one serving is half a portion. We've been over this before. I don't know why they keep doing this to us. It's such a tease, but to me, I don't know. To me, half the brownie seems like a pretty good portion size. So I'm excited to try this right now, and I'll let you guys know how it is. It's up by, it's wheat free and gluten free, macadamia fudge brownie. As I was halfway into the brownie, I realized that it was supposed to be four servings per container and it was two brownies, so it was like half of one brownie. So it was still worth it. It was really good, but I definitely feel like it's a false advertisement. <laughs> so I ended up deciding not going to Costco and um, I went to Walmart instead. They actually had chicken for 10 bucks for like a little bit over a kilo, which is actually cheaper than the chicken at Costco. So figured I would just save myself a trip and I bought basically everything I needed at Walmart and now I am headed to the bulk bar and it's basically like freaking food heaven like they have all kinds of grains nut butters nuts candy baking goods like literally everything and they have a lot of organic and um, health healthy chips so that's where I'm gonna go get my kale chips that I usually eat on my vlogs if you guys have seen them before um, and the Buddha Bowl popcorn that I got at Whole Foods in the States. That's the only place that I've been able to find them here in Canada. So today's basically been a day of hanging out with my bestie, getting some good food. Um, I'm just basically getting settled in, in Calgary. I haven't really gotten a chance to like hang out in the city since I moved here and then left to Columbus. It's, so far it's really good, I love it. It's a really nice change from Grand Prairie. Um, there's a lot more to do here. There's a lot more to offer, so I'm really excited to see where I can take my career now being here and hopefully I can just grow as an athlete and as a businesswoman in general. Just as promised, and I found my kale chips right here. Literally, the only place that I can that I've been able to find them here in Canada. And they have my flavor, it's a cheddar. With these, you have to be super careful though, because if you don't take care of them, they'll crumble and then they're just like crumbs and they don't taste like chips anymore, they're just kale crumbs. <laughs> It was a pretty disappointing 20 minute drive here to the pork barn because they only had my kale chips which were seven bucks a bag so sixteen dollars for two bags of kale chips and no Buddha bowl popcorn that's the thing that i hate about living in a bigger city now that like everywhere is such a long ass drive but oh my goodness today has been like the most freaking hectic day well not really <laughs> I guess grocery shopping I wouldn't really consider hectic, but um, I just had a bank appointment and it took forever. I'm starving. I've only eaten once today, which was the salad that I had. The only thing I'm tracking out of that salad is the egg and the beets and then half of the brownie that I had. I'm going to have some kale chips, figure out what I've eaten for the day because I haven't even tracked anything yet. Um, that's usually what I do. I've been doing it for so long to the point where I don't have to actually like track things as soon as I eat them I know when I like how much I should be eating um usually closer to the end of the day that's when I'll start logging in things before I actually eat them just in case I have to play with the quantities to hit my numbers right on the dot I'm gonna grab a bite to eat because I'm super hungry I have to cook some chicken um, I have to start editing my videos for you guys because I want to get those up as soon as possible like I said I want to be really consistent with all my videos and um, post at least like three times a week um, that's a big goal for me because I know that I'm really bad and inconsistent with it, but I promise you guys that I'm going to have a lot of content for you guys, um, a lot of information that's useful to you guys, and I'm excited to show you guys how your body can respond to changes when you're really consistent, when you know exactly what to tweak, and I'll be sharing also some tips with you guys on what other things you can do to get rid of that 
you know, extra water weight and just cleanse your body from all the food that you consume, whether you were on vacation or just had a really bad week or, you know, life happens and these things happen and food is something that us human beings just really enjoy. I, obviously not everyone does. Most of the people that I surround myself with do enjoy food as much as I do, which is why it always ends up turning into like a huge food fest. So, you know, life happens. We're only human. The thing that matters the most is just getting right back on track and giving it 110% again. Wow, my feels. So I decided to weigh myself out of curiosity because, I don't know, I feel better already. My stomach doesn't feel as bloated as it did this morning. And I'm actually five pounds lighter than I was this morning. So that just goes to show you guys that you shouldn't focus on weight because it can fluctuate very easily. It's a really good way to track of your progress, but it shouldn't be the only thing that you focus on because I just want to show you guys. Pretty freaking crazy. Too freaking crazy. Like I said, don't let the scale dictate how you feel about your progress. Um, I just finished cooking my chicken. It actually turned out pretty freaking good. My chicken's usually too dry, doesn't have much taste, and it doesn't look this good. So, just wanted to show you guys. All I did was bake it at 350, added some Mrs. Dash to it, and some Himalayan sea salt, and that was basically it. Threw it in the oven for about 45 to 60 minutes I think it was. It was in there for quite a while and my biggest thing with chicken is I always feel like I overcook it because I'm too scared to not cook it enough and then eating it raw and then getting sick so like that's why my chicken's usually dry but I don't know what I did with this one that it just came out perfect. <laughs> that was like the most pointless clip of my life. I just want to let you guys know. I don't know. So I did want to share some tips with you guys in this video for when you do have those weeks when you splurge a little bit, uh, you come back home, you've gained a few pounds, maybe more than a few pounds. But I'm gonna leave it for the next video because I feel like this video is getting a little bit long. I feel like a lot of it has been pointless clips. I'm still gonna throw it in there just because, you know, this is what happens when I wanna vlog more often. I don't have as many interesting things to do. So it's just basically gonna be videos of me yapping and if you guys want to see more of me, that's what y'all are going to get, I guess. But um, as always, thank you for watching. And yeah. Good night, guys.